future. Now, here's the question. Can Cowboy take McGregor in the later rounds and rack up those kicks and knees? Rack up those kicks and knees. Now, I, I'm thinking personally, honestly, if I, I if I was coaching McGregor, uh, Con, excuse me, Cowboy, if I was coaching Cowboy, I would say, look, boxing with McGregor is a recipe for disaster. Recipe for disaster. Do not box with McGregor, especially do not throw your right hand. Now, let's not forget McGregor's a sapa. Cowboys are righty. They're going to be in open stance. The only punch I would like to see Cowboy throw is jab, jab, followed by kicks or knees, but no right hands. If you throw that right hand in the first two rounds, he's going to get hit. He's going to hit hard. Cowboy's got to be patient. Why does he have to be patient? Because McGregor's a counter puncher. If you throw a punch at him, guess what? You're going to get hit right back and you're going to get hit back really, really hard. Cowboy needs to give McGregor nothing to counter. He's got to kick the leg. Yes, he's got to kick the leg. A lot of you are going to tell me he's got to kick the leg. But when he kicks the leg, he's opening himself up also for the straight left down the middle. When he kicks McGregor's leg, whether he kicks it to the outside or the inside, he's going to get countered with a left. McGregor's not, he's not, he's a very intelligent guy, okay? He's not dumb. He knows that Cowboy's going to aim for the legs. Now, it doesn't mean he can't get the legs. It's just a risk. You're taking a calculated risk. When you kick those legs, Cowboy's got to be ni nicely covered. He's got to kick and cover. He's got to kick the body. He's got to kick the head. He's got to teep. He's got to teep to the face like he did against Ayer Quinta. He's got to use his jab sparingly without committing with it. And he's got to clinch and tie up McGregor and take him into the later rounds. And even shoot on McGregor. That cowboy, cowboy Cerrone. He's done so many great things standing up that we forget what a great wrestler he is. He did a beautiful takedown on um, Alexander Hernandez, brought him down. Even though Alexander, Alexander eventually got up to his feet, Cowboy kept pressuring him with takedowns and strikes. And he also brought down Tony Ferguson, let's not forget. Now, Tony got up. Tony's incredible at getting up. I don't think anybody can get up off the mat like Tony Ferguson can. So uh, I don't think McGregor will be able to get up that easily. Maybe he will get up, but not, not as easily as Ferguson. Ferguson's very special in this regard. Cowboy has an amazing blast double. He's very surprising with his double leg. So if I was training Cowboy, I would tell him, look, don't throw your right hand. There's no need for it. Watch the fight against Gaethje when Cowboy threw a 1-2. When he threw the right hand, he missed. He got countered by Gaethje. He got dropped to the mat. Why? He overpunched with the right hand. If he does that with McGregor, he's going to get touched. He's going to get hurt. And he's going to take McGregor in the later rounds. That's, his, that's the recipe for, for Cowboy. Cowboy has been in the later rounds before. He's been in seesaw battles many times. He's come back from, from uh, behind to win. He's done it all. Now, Conor McGregor has, uh, you know, he's had such incredible performances. However, he seemed to have one Achilles heel. He fades in the later rounds. When he fought Khabib in round four, he did well in round three. He actually won round three on the judges' scorecard. But in round four, he seemed to be zapped of energy. You know, he got taken down easier. He got mounted. It seemed like his grappling wasn't there. He turned around. And, excuse me. It seemed like there wasn't much fight left into, in him. Now, again, that's fighting Khabib, but we saw him in uh, round five against Diaz. He seemed to lo lose the fifth round. He seems to slow down a little bit. Is that his Achilles heel? Well, I'll tell you something. Sometimes when you're so explosive, you're so quick, it takes a lot of energy for your body to work at, to operate at that speed. So it, it might be that he's genetically very quick, but endurance is probably his, his natural weakness that he he's probably working on. Is McGregor going to be able to do the job in the first two rounds? That's the big question. He has to put Cowboy away in the first two rounds because that's when he's, whenever he's had uh, an incredible fight. They're always done in the first two rounds. I have to make a pick. Now, I got to tell you something. I'm divided on this one. I'm, my, my mind is telling me, my brain is telling me, look, McGregor's going to win. He's been planning his return. He's been training like a wild man. Cowboy's just been taking any fight. He's banged up. He's late in his career. He's had losses. He's been hurt. He got hurt by Ferguson. He got hurt by Gaethje. What makes you think McGregor won't hurt him? Right. My heart is telling me I want Cowboy to win. Why? Because I know the guy. He's a great guy. I've trained with him in the past. I always pick the fighter that I know. However, in this instance, I got to be really, really transparent. I got to tell you, I really do believe that McGregor is going to be able to tag Cowboy. Now, he's either going to finish Cowboy in the first two or it's going to go in the later rounds, but the damage in the first two are going to carry McGregor in the later rounds.